If you've used Midjourney before, you know all about this Discord server right here. Newbies, 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 newbies. This is where they tell you to come to generate your images. And every image you generate here, everybody's gonna see. Everybody who clicks into this room is gonna see this picture right here, right now. And they can scroll through and they can see whatever's been generated in the past. And they can just take it, steal it. Not really steal it. You're kind of stealing it because AI is generating it based on everything it's been trained on, which wasn't yours to begin, to begin with. Point is that you can just take these images, you can see what's going on, you can be like, wow, this is really cool. What's the prompt? Copy, use that. Super awesome. Which is fine. I mean, that, that's kind of the point of AI and generating um, generative AI and sharing and all that. But, but if you want to have your own private Discord server where nobody can see what you're generating, this is how you do it. Click on the plus icon on the left here. Click on create my own for create server. Just me and my friends. You can add an image if you want. I'm gonna call this mid journey. I call it my mid journey. In fact, click on create and boom, you've got your own mid journey server right here that nobody else can click into. You'll see on the left here, MM, just takes the first letter of the, fir of, of, the, of the words. This would be where your picture goes if you uploaded a picture, but you have your different servers that you can click into here and nobody else can see that. However, if you have the free Midjourney account, people will still be able to see the images you generate on Midjourney itself. It won't be in the Midjourney server right here in the newbie room, but it'll still be accessible through the Midjourney website. If you wanted to make those private as well, you'd have to have a paid subscription and turn on private mode. So now we want to invite Midjourney to here so we actually start using it inside of this room. To add the Midjourney bot, head over to the Midjourney server and find any instance of the Midjourney bot name inside one of the newbie channels and click on that. Then click on add to server. Now we choose the server we just created, my Midjourney server, click on continue. I just leave all these checked. Click on authorize. Yes, I am human and go to my Midjourney and now we have the Midjourney bot in here. Another way you can add it is without going to the Midjourney server, click on your server name, the one you just created, go to app directory, search for Midjourney in here, and then click on the Midjourney bot, click on add to server, go through the exact same steps we just saw with the other version. I already added to the server clearly, as you saw, so this won't work, but it's the exact same steps. Click on continue, then authorize, and then you have Midjourney in here. And now we can create an image. Celebrate adding the Midjourney bot to my new Discord server. And I think all these pictures are representative of how happy I am that we just added the Midjourney bot. And it's super simple to do, as you saw. And I highly recommend you do that just to help you stay organized. A few more tips, actually, before we go. So we have our channels over here. So we, on the server, we can add as many as we want. We can click on the plus icon and we can add a new channel, like say, um, cartoon images create channel so you could create only cartoon images in here maybe here we have uh, landscape or maybe it could be client one and client two just to help you stay organized and each one of these you can use the regular old imagine prompt and have midjourney create images for you in any one of these channels so you can stay super organized you can also add categories so you can create a new category you could call this one clients, for example. And now we have the clients category down here. You can drag and drop these into clients and it'll help everything run way more smoothly by staying organized, just because that's how organization does. It helps you a lot being organized. And that is how we add the Midjourney bot to our Discord server. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. Next up, check out this playlist right here. It's all about Midjourney and helping you get better at using Midjourney. So make sure you check that out. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from the Area Underground. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.